Testing, testing. I'm gonna take a picture of this. So we had family in town, and one of my favorite destinations to take visitors, which is also at the top of everyone's list, is the High Line. It's an old abandoned L train uh, track that has been reclaimed and turned into a really beautiful park. I've probably walked the High Line 20 plus times now. So if you're ever planning on visiting New York City, follow along closely and you might end up with some pretty awesome shots at the end of it. First, we took the train down to Penn Station. It's always fun seeing the Empire State Building. I see it every time I'm walking home from work. It's hard to take a bad photo of the Empire State Building. It was actually St. Patrick's Day as well. It's always tough to get pictures of other people and not be too annoying, but I was surprised at how the lighting was kind of like hitting them from the side, even though it was like the middle of the day, and you never know what kind of reflections you're getting in the city. Next, we walk to Hudson Yards. The new High Line extension now starts at this new bridge. This is the best place to start your walk. I already took pictures of this area though, the bridge, the pink tree, the vessel. I kind of shot the crap out of these spots in my last photo walk. I was also really excited to try out this new sling bag from Grams28. They sent the bag out for me to try, set me up with an affiliate link. It's a small enough bag that it doesn't feel like you're wearing a camera bag and I also specifically liked it and asked for it because it's not a camera bag. I can also fit my GoPro in there, get my phone, a couple other things, SD cards, all that in there. I think it's just perfect for the X106 and for street photography. It's sleek, it's discreet. I actually have a discount for it as well. Make sure all the information's down in the, the description of the video. So back to our little adventure with the family. What I love about the High Line so much is it does sort of give you a cross section of the city, frankly, a now rich and very gentrified area of the city, but a really beautiful cross section of the city with a lot of history. Look at those lips. Tons of art, amazing architecture. When we sat down to take a quick break, I remember looking down and kind of seeing some angles that I thought could be interesting. But as I was doing that, my son kept reaching out for the railing and usually I try to avoid having him touch objects in public. Everything's just gross and grimy, but it turned out to be a cute little shot. In this photo, I'm really trying to use that railing as a sort of a foreground, blurry foreground object to try to create some depth. Look at this, Indy boy. I'm mostly just kind of playing around here, trying to see if there's something interesting. I'm gonna take a picture of this. Yeah, what do you think? Like I said, the High Line was an old L train or an elevated train track that would even dock at Chelsea Market. Ooh, look at this. And here, finally saw some cherry blossoms. There was still a lot of dead branches and trees. I just thought if I could get the right angle, oh, yeah. look at those windows. maybe I could create some interesting depth with the flowers in the foreground and some of the city in the background. There's actually an interesting story with this one. I, I posted this to my Instagram and a friend that I haven't uh, talked to or seen in years uh, reached out and said that he was looking at my photo and, and thinking, where have I seen that photo before? This looks so familiar. Maybe he was getting some deja vu. And he went back through his old photos of his walk in the High Line and he had literally the exact same photo. It's funny how you can walk the same area and you think you're experiencing something so differently, and yet we were drawn to the same thing. We finally got to Chelsea Market. There were some guys selling some prints here and the family was just loving going through all the different prints and seeing different parts of the city that they've now visited and toured around. Usually I wouldn't take pictures of somebody else's art, but this photo of his photo, the framing of it, all of the stacks of photos on top is an interesting picture in and of itself. 
Plus, I'm a big Spider-Man fan, so I couldn't resist. Now, usually when you do walk the High Line, Chelsea Market is a great place to stop. But also, there's a new attraction called Little Island, and it's right across the street. I think there must have been like a pier or, or something already there previously, and they've created this sort of floating structure, a floating park that's on these big cement pillars. It's just so different than any other park you would ever visit. And then we went to Chelsea Market. I started to take a couple photos in Chelsea Market, but nothing was really turning out well. The lighting was kind of weird and I was struggling with angles, struggling to even see uh, something worth taking a photo of, so I kind of gave up. And that was our adventure. From there, the family all went to a show and me and my son, we took the subway home. It's been really fun having him and raising him in the city, being able to take him on little adventures, remembering that he was there with me. I hope you enjoyed a, a chill little photo walk with me, walking the High Line with my family, taking some photos on the Fujifilm X106. These are fun ones for me to do because I get to look back at some of the little adventures that we've been on. As I'm trying to bring you on a journey, I'm also kind of going on a trip down memory lane. All right, that's all I got. I'll uh, catch you in the next video.